All right, thanks for watching, folks. This is Mike Stinnett, and this is the Office for Truth program. And this is talking about Hank Hennegraaff and replacement theology. He's a well-known theologian, apologist in the church, been around for years, been around most of my Christianity anyway. So I'm responding to one of his videos I watched recently when he was talking about the Jewish people and his view of now that he's a Christian, now that people are Christians, they're the chosen people. It's one of the most horrible teachings that we have probably in the church, probably the most horrible teaching we have. And he got that from Augustine. He got it from Martin Luther. It's kind of this bizarre thing that because solely because there's more Gentiles in the world than Jewish people, therefore, because there's more numbers, that actually changes something from God's promises to the Jewish people. Hank Hennegraaff goes so far in his radio station to say that it's not DNA even that makes one Jewish. And he's talking about because we became Christians, because you put your faith in Christ, you became the chosen people. You actually became the true Jewish people. So he's now Jewish, even though his heritage is from Germany and he's not Jewish at all. And that should tell you something coming from Germany. See, some of those people in that country just can't let it go. You know, they can't. And he was... um speaking in this video talking about how when the Zionist movement started around the end of the 19th century and that it was some sort of Christian Zionism that pushed this whole thing of taking the Jewish people into their homeland. No, they're Jewish people. See, I'm not Jewish, so I don't understand everything about that. I'm not trying to. What I'm trying to do as a Christian is now that I've been saved, see, my title now isn't I'm not Jewish I didn't become Jewish, but my title is now is I became a Christian. I became saved. I became redeemed. That's what's awesome about it. I didn't become anything else. So when my title is, I became saved. Thank God. I'm a sinner saved by what Christ did on the cross, his life, death, and resurrection. That's what happened to me. But I didn't, but it, it, you have to ask yourself, why do people become Christians and then they go and attack the Jewish people? Weren't you a rotten person before? I know I was in a lot of ways. So why would you go and attack the Jewish people? Well, because it's a sickness in people. It's like the virus we're going through now, but this is just a sickness in them. And what they do is they, they, they take it to other people. They attack other people with their sickness. And so you you never were thinking about it when you became a Christian. You're just thankful to be saved. But because that's what they do and they believe in, they took that sickness and they threw it onto you. And that's what Hank Hennegraaff does with this replacement theology. It's garbage. It's just another way to attack the Jewish people. So apparently he must have been like that before. I don't know, but now that he's a Christian and over the years, all he's done is attack the Jewish people. And he, he thinks that he's clever by talking about Christian Zionism. And what he's really referring to is he's not referring back to uh, the uh, end of the 19th century. He's talking about kind of this culture today. It's a lot of Republican viewpoints of we support Israel. It's even in the Democratic Party. But it's this kind of caring for the Jewish people. He can't stand that because he doesn't know why would you do that. There's there's nothing to them anymore. AD 70 says when the temple was destroyed, they were done as a people. No, the book of Revelation was given after AD 70, and it just starts, goes right back to the Jewish people. Just because they don't have a, um, they didn't have a homeland back then, and they were, and then they were subsequently started to be kicked out of the Holy Land and dispersed. Well, that doesn't change the fact of what. Christ is doing with them what the Lord's doing with them simply because we have the the new covenant now in Christ to be saved. It doesn't take any away from Jewish people. It just includes me in there and it was just a shadow of the things to come. But I don't have to be as a Christian. I don't go against the Jewish people. And that's what Hank Hennegraaff does in this replacement theology. It's just garbage. See, he's the classic example. They'll say something ugly about the Jewish folks or they'll tell you who you are. And then when you kind of turn your head or you wonder, oh, where did you get that at? That's where they come up with replacement theology. You see what they do? They first create some ugly thing, and then they can't support it by the scriptures because it's not from Genesis to Revelation. So then they go, oh, it's this is what replacement theology is. It's the most horrible teaching we probably have in the church. So what in this video, what I'm doing is, is I'm just another person who's calling out this guy and Hank Hennegraaff and what he does and teaches. I'm going to support the Jewish folks till the end, and I'm going to go out as a Christian and talk about Jesus Christ. But as my faith in Christ, I'm not going to go against the Jewish people. And, and here's the thing. 
There has to be something wrong with you that you let somebody tell you those things, that you can't be your own person following Christ and caring for people. There has to be something wrong with you that you can't stick with the Lord, open the scriptures, care for people, change your life. I've been a Christian for 30 years. I've, I've never ever one time ever in my life cared about any of this stuff ever. Well, then how did I get here? If it's 30 years later, well, why wouldn't you want to care for people? So the Jewish people are like anybody else. And as Christians, we just want to care for them. And all the things that God's going to do with them, it doesn't have anything to do with me. It has to do with them and what God's doing. He's the king. He's on the throne. I'm the follower. I'm the person that's bowing down to Christ. So what I want to do is go out and care for people and not be like Hank Hanegraaff, who's simply a hater of those people and does it in Jesus' name. And you have tons of people in the church that are letting them do it. Well, that's not what I'm going to do with my Christianity. I'm going to come against people like him and say something, and I hope you will too. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and I really appreciate it.